Hi, this is Dan Pollier from the University of Colorado, and I'm very happy to present some of our findings on our Phase 1b study of venetoclax plus a hypomethylator, decidabine, or azacitidine in the untreated AML elderly population of patients who are ineligible for standard induction chemotherapy. And I present this work on behalf of all of my coworkers. The essence of this project is to determine the efficacy and safety of the combination of venetoclax, a very potent orally bioavailable BCL2 inhibitor, with a hypomethylator in patients in this population. We have previous data to show activity of venetoclax as a single agent in relapsed and refractory AML patients which prompted this promising combination in a slightly different setting. The patient population is, as would be expected, an elderly patient population. 75 was the median age. Patients had either intermediate or adverse risk cytogenetics, and a preponderance of patients had evolved AML from an antecedent hematologic condition. From a safety perspective, we did not experience any dose-limiting toxicities or tumor lysis syndrome, which was something we were watching for very carefully given the experience of venetoclax in a different setting, in the CLL setting. Patients did have the expected leukemia-related complications, including complications from neutropenia, specifically and in infectious complications. But otherwise, there were no real specific or recurring toxicities relatable to venetoclax beyond the cytopenias. There was no ability to treat these patients with an azole given unstudied interactions between azoles and venetoclax, but despite that, our fungal infection risk was quite low. And there were six early deaths half of which were from disease progression and the rest from disease-related complications. We were very encouraged by the overall efficacy of the study in which uh, almost all patients, 90% of patients, had at least a very significant reduction in the bone marrow blasts, and that was relevant to all cohorts, both azacitidine and dicytabine, as well as all dose levels of venetoclax. With respect to formal appraisals of efficacy, the CR-CRI rate was a very encouraging 60% across the board. When you expand that to include PRs, it went up to 62%. And when you include the clinically meaningful designation of a morphologic leukemia-free state, that overall response rate goes up to 71%. There was no real difference observed between the azacitidine or dicytabine arms and no significant difference observed in the lower versus higher dose cohort of venetoclax. The most responses occurred very quickly, which would not be expected for a typical hypomethylator response population. And the median duration of response so far with the upper limit not reached is 8.4 months. With respect to biomarkers for response, we did do extensive genomic profiling, some of which was presented on the ASCO poster. And one very notable finding was perhaps a preponderance of responses in patients who have an IDH mutation for which there is a biologically plausible explanation for sensitivity of patients with an IDH mutation to a BCL2 inhibitor that has been published recently. Currently, the patient's durability of response is clear. Multiple patients are ongoing in remission, both on and off therapy, and it did not appear that the 1,200 milligram dose cohort of venetoclax was particularly efficacious and was clearly more toxic with respect to cytopenias. So in conclusion, we're very excited about the combination of venetoclax plus a hypomethylator in the upfront treatment setting for elderly AML patients intolerant or not eligible for induction chemotherapy. Safety was confirmed with this combination to be very reasonable, and the efficacy was quite remarkable at this early date compared to expectations for other therapies that have been either piloted or are acceptable standards of care in this population. 
Going forward, we continue to expand the cohorts, the 400 and 800 milligram dose cohorts, with both azacitidine and decitabine with some protocol changes to help mitigate against the sometimes significant neutropenia that we have seen with venetoclax. So thank you very much for your attention. On behalf of my co-investigators and all of our patients, thank you very much.